welcome to another episode of Fubar. In today's video, let's talk about how to create a Lambda function using Node.js that uses Amazon Bedrock. Bedrock was announced like a month ago and it's one of the biggest launches of the year, in my opinion, from AWS. In this video, I want to show you a little bit around Bedrock, so if you have not seen it, now you can check it out without getting into a lot of the details. And then I want to show you how you can create a Lambda function using Node.js and then invoke a Bedrock model. So let's get started. Just if you don't know, Amazon Bedrock is a service that allows you to use foundational models from different AI companies in a totally managed way from your applications. This means that you don't need to deploy these models or manipulate them in any way. They are just ready for you to use them from an API. But this doesn't mean that you cannot fine tune these models. There is also an option in Bedrock that you can improve the models with your own data. So that's not something I'm going to get into this video, but let me know if that's something you're interested in. Yeah. So Bedrock is available in some regions and it's very important that you are using the regions where Bedrock is available. So let's look at it in the console. If you check it here, I'm in Virginia and I'm already in Bedrock and you can check down here in the drop down in which region is available. Now Virginia, Oregon, Singapore, Tokyo, Frankfurt and nothing else, but maybe more regions are coming. So stay tuned for that. The next thing you need to do is to go and give access to Bedrock to access those models. Like everything in AWS, it doesn't have permissions to do things unless you give them. So you give access to the models by basically, I, I already have granted access to the models. I have permissions, but you go to edit, then you select the models that you want to grant permissions. And if you were um, having some new model, it will appear here to change, save the changes, and then that will give you permissions to use these models. Again, because these models are from third-party companies and also Amazon, it's important that you grant access from your account to use it. Then from there, when you have the permissions, you can go to the playgrounds and start playing. So there is a playground for chat, there is a playground for text, and there is a playground from image. And in each of these playgrounds, you can see different functionalities. So let's check the one for text. I will not go into all of them, but here you can basically type something. First select a model and then type something, write a story about a developer advocate that makes videos in YouTube. And then we can run this query and see what happens. Let's see what kind of story Bedrock comes in. Once upon a time, there was a developer advocate named Sean. Oh, damn, I need to make sure that I say a female developer advocate. Sean was passionate about programming and always wanted to share his knowledge and experience with others. One day, Sean decided to start making videos about programming on his YouTube channel. So here you can see it's basic how you can use generative AI. And in the side here, you can see the different configurations for the inferences. So you can see uh, the configuration for random, the configuration for length. So this is quite important. The length of the amount of tokens that you can return. And you can see it here in the info, sorry the amount of tokens that the models support. So if you need to have a lot of tokens, this means the response size is big, then you might need to use some kind of different model and make sure that your model supports it. Then if you have some stop sequences, some repetitions and so on and so forth. And the cool thing of Bedrock is that in here you can view the API request. So you can basically copy this into your application and run exactly the same query. So this is one of my favorite things. Also here you can see that there is this streaming box and it will appear with some models. So let's here go to Claude. And this is because Bedrock allows you to do get a streaming response. So if that's something you are interested in seeing in action, just let me know in the comments. But one thing you can see that we are in a different model is that the, the configuration is a little different for each of the models. So the API request that you are going to make, it's a little bit different depending on the model that you are going to use. So this is basically the uh, Bedrock Playground, and then you can check 
some examples that are here and you can play in the notebooks. There is some, you can see all the base models here if you're interested in, in getting more information and the different versions and how to write the, the APIs. And here you can have your own custom models with fine tuning. So that's something that you can do if you want to, but I'm not getting there. So that's Bedrock. So as I said at the beginning of this video, the powerful thing of Bedrock is that it gives you these APIs that you can integrate into your applications and then you can build all amazing solutions. So when it was announced like a month ago, it was like for a week only available in Python and now it's available in the AWS CLI and as well in all the major AWS SDKs. So you can access Bedrock from your favorite SDK. And if you want to see the Python example, I link it in the description box. There is there how to get started. In this video, I want to show you how to do it with Node.js because that's what we do in this channel. And I could not, uh, not make this video. This is like a must. So I will show you how to build this Lambda function using Node.js. So now let's go to the code and see it in action. So I have here the code is in the same repo as the Python function. So if you go up, you will see the Python function, but I created a new one that it has a JavaScript function. So here you can see basic Lambda function with no events. The only thing that we have here is the policy to add bedrock. And here you can do more detailed thing you can do to invoke a model and you can put the resource, the exact model that you want to invoke. But as I've been playing with different APIs, I just leave it like this. Then we have a handler. So here is my handler, and this one is a JavaScript handler. For this, we are using a JavaScript version three. So you can see that we are using this bedrock runtime client and the invoke model command. So it's good, at least if you're watching this now, closer to that of the video that has been launched, that you install this library in your project. So you can see it here. I have it in the package JSON as a dependency, so it has the latest version of the AWS SDK, because that might not be already in the Lambda function, at least it was not by the time I recorded this. So it's important that you install the dependency and you are using a version that has the client for Bedrock. So basically here, I just ask him to write a story. So this could be an input, this could be anything I just want to try with a fixed prompt, but you can pass it from API gateway. You can pass it through an event file. You can pass the prompt in many ways or create it in your application. And then I'm building this body and this body is exactly the same parameters that we found in the bedrock, in the bedrock console. So when we are here and then we select this, I'm using this model, you can see the API request and you can see all these parameters are exactly the same that I have in, in that configuration. The only difference is that I just make that prompt dynamic because I was playing with it, but I could basically just paste it here because it's a string. And then I'd like to input it. And then I'm using the command model to invoke that and I'm sending that. Then this will return a thing that you need to decode and get the completions. And basically, because we don't ask for more than one version, we will get the text in this object. So then you can return it, print it, send it somewhere, and you're done. It's very easy to use this API. It's uh, a little bit tricky to figure out this bit around because the documentation is not our best friend. But after you figure out this bit, then everything is quite simple to adjust and change and make the application that you want. So if we deploy this, it's already deployed. So I will just show you how to invoke it. I have my cheat sheets here. I already deployed. So I will just invoke this function and then we can check the logs. It's very cold, so it just takes a while. And let's see here. Here is my function that ran a few seconds ago. And 
in here we can see the story. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Whiskers. Whiskers was a curious cat and loved to explore new places. Blah, 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 blah. So this is a story that Bedrock made about the cat Whiskers that I asked him. I think it's less than five paragraphs, but I think I might not have given them enough tokens. <laughs> I give them enough. But, but yeah, so this is a super simple example of Bedrock. You can find it in GitHub. And that's the video for me today. It's a super simple video. If you watch the Python video, you will see this is quite a repetition, but maybe you are here for the first time looking for the Node.js solution and you have not seen it. So I wanted to repeat some stuff. More things of Bedrock are coming in the future. I have quite a nice bit of content that I'm working for reInvent. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming around November, December. And before that, I'm sure I will make more videos around Bedrock because this is something, at least for me, is something I'm playing all the time with. But let me know in the comments what kind of applications you would like me to build, what kind of tools you would like to see, how you would like me to integrate it in different places, how you would like to see it in action. I'm really curious on what solutions you would like to see with Bedrock. Yeah, and that's it for me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It's free and it helps a lot. And I see you around. Around here, you can find some videos about generative AI. And here you can find the launches from this year. So I'll see you. Bye bye.